Okay, this video is going to show us how to classify costs for managerial accounting and what that really means. So, we're going to be talking about making a guitar. So that is our cost object. We want to find out how much it's going to cost us to make this guitar. First, we're going to break down our costs into two types, direct costs and indirect costs. Direct costs can be traced to my guitar, such as the wood or the strings. Direct labor can be traced to my guitar. Those would be the people that were physically touching the guitar, working on it, if you were in a factory, working on the assembly line. Now the opposite and the other costs that we have are indirect costs. These are costs that we are going to assign to our guitar, but they can't be directly traced, such as indirect materials like glue or maybe screws or indirect labor, such as the supervisors that are overseeing the entire projects, or the janitorial services. These are our indirect costs. So let's look and see how this, how we accumulate these costs to find out how much it costs us. All right, so direct materials would be like our wood. Let's say we spent $75 worth of wood on this one guitar. And then the person that was working on our guitar, let's say he or she logged in two hours and we pay them $25 an hour. So that's $50 of direct labor. Now let's talk about this factory overhead. All of these indirect costs go into factory overhead. We can't directly trace it to this one guitar. So let me show you how we will do it. So for the indirect costs, we may have indirect labor. So let's say for the month we actually pay the supervisors, um, let's say $5,000 for all the supervisors. Factory utilities, $2,000. Property taxes on the factory, $1,000. Insurance on factory buildings, $500. Depreciation on factory plant, let's say that is um, $2,000. So these are our indirect costs. That is, we needed these costs in order to make the guitar, but we can't directly trace it to this one guitar. So here's how we're going to do factory overhead. We're going to add it together. And then later on, you'll find out how to take a percentage and what percent to apply. But let's just say for now, we've come up with 1% and we're going to apply it to the guitar. Now we would have come up with that percent um, with some formulas that you'll learn that will um, be chosen by management that they think is an accurate way to assign some of these costs to this one guitar because we need to know how much this guitar costs us so that we can choose how much to sell it for. All right, the wood that we can trace, $75, the direct labor, $50. The percentage of factory overhead that we are going to assign to this guitar, $105. Therefore, we can say that this guitar costs us $230 to make. Let's talk about some other ways to classify. S managers may talk about their costs in terms of prime and conversion costs. All that means is that direct materials and direct labor are prime costs. Direct labor and factory overhead are conversion costs. So you may hear managers talk about their prime costs or conversion costs, and if so, they're just talking about direct materials and direct labor, or if it was conversion, direct labor and factory overhead. So a question that might be on a test would be something like, what is glue? Well, glue is factory overhead, so glue is a conversion cost. Or what is wood? Well, wood is a direct material, so wood is a prime cost. Or what is assembly line worker wages? That's direct labor, so that would be considered both a prime and a conversion cost. So that's how that works. All right, so we need to talk about one more way to classify our costs, and that is period costs and product costs. Period costs are any costs that you expense in the current period, like the CEO's salary or any selling and administrative expense. Just go straight to your income statement and you expense it because it's been used up. Product costs are everything that happens inside the factory and we don't expense them until we sell that guitar. So if it happens inside the factory, it's a product cost. So examples would be direct material, 
direct labor, and factory overhead. Now, all of this will eventually get expensed. This gets expensed right away, but product costs get experienced, I mean, get expensed when you sell your guitar. So it's held in inventory until the time that you sell your guitar. So that's the way that we will classify our expenses in managerial accounting. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.